I was having a conversation with my wife, Danielle, a little early this week, and we were reflecting back to about 25 years ago when we were both sole traders in our businesses. And what the situation we're experiencing now externally would be like for us individually. And what I re reflected on was that it would be slightly different, more challenging, but more exciting in a number of different ways. And if you've been following along on the videos that we've been working with you on around our Protect and Prepare series, we did one of the three circles. We looked at the, the three areas of protecting and preparing, which is your community, your customers, and your cash. All of those are definitely relevant if you're a sole trader, but there are some other elements to consider as well. So the reality is, for many of you, you're way outside your comfort zone. You've never experienced anything like this before in your business journey, and I get that. And I also get that your business income, in a lot of cases, is also your personal and your family income as well, so there's a fair bit of pressure in that situation. You may be in a situation where your work is drying or slowing up, and maybe your lead sources are starting to dwindle as well. So it's not flowing as much as it used to. However, here's the opportunity. You also have lower overheads and you can be more nimble and flexible and the ability to pivot can happen so much quicker than a more established business if you're up for that. So there is the opportunity to revive and thrive, not just dwindle and survive through the scenario that we're experiencing right now. So I've used the word crisis a fair bit in the last week, and the reason why, because when you look at the Chinese definition of the word crisis, it actually represents two words, danger and opportunity. And the reason why I love it is because it is the opportunity in this massive inconvenience for many of you that if you look at it in the right way is your time to shine. So what I want you to think about, and we put together a protect and prepare document just for yourself if you're a sole trader, and any other sole traders you may, may know and you want to share this with as well. So now is the time to let go of and resisting any changes that may be going on. What I mean by let go of is it don't be so fixed on the way that you wanted your business to look and feel like before this crisis. Because if you are, then you're gone. You're now in an opportunity to, to respond, improvise and adapt to what's going on. So if you can let go of that, now I'm not saying don't let go of the long-term dream. What I'm saying about is let go of being fixed to what is now and to be fluid with that. And now is not the time to think about the niche that you'd really like to serve and how it'd like to look. Now is the time to not be in your flow, but to get into others' flow. Because let's face it, there are businesses and industries right now that are flourishing amongst the shift and the changes that are going on. And in that document of I've, I've identified what those are, there are also other trade, larger trade businesses out there that are booming and they're looking to hire and bring on extra resources to help them get through the influx of work that they've had. So your opportunity is to also tap into that. So I'm going to give you a few things just to consider to stop doing and then to look at what you can do to start doing and an action list for you as well. Now in the Protect and Prepare document for sole traders, there's much more than what I'm going to cover, but I just want to give you an inkling of what you can be considering as part of this video. Because often they say the best time to plan would have been two months ago. The next best time is immediately this video is completed. So number one, I want you to stop consuming and start creating. And what I mean by that, by that is you may have more time up your sleeve now if work has dropped off. And often what can happen is if you aren't focused on looking at the things you can control, you can unconsciously get drawn into what we call that circle of concern. And it's very easy to be consumed by the overwhelming amount of information, opinions, and beliefs of what's going on right now. And that can completely shift the way that you relate to it as well. So stop consuming, and I want you to think about connecting, collaborating, and creating. Those three C's, connect, collaborate, and create together. I want you, as I said before, not be too fixed around what the way things were, but be fluid about what is possible moving forward. And so, given all of that, I want you to now think about what you can start focusing on. Now, here's the situation. Industries, obviously, such as health, hospitals, uh, welfare, are booming. 
We've got people staying at home, living at home. What are those requirements that they have in that space? We've got schools at the moment who are shut down, tertiary education systems that all still have budgets to work with, but you could be providing services as well. And again, on that list, there's a few more, and that can continue to change and evolve. So I would be open to what there is around that. Now is not the time to overanalyze everything and wait for your perfect moment. It's about progress, not perfection right now. If you want to thrive, maybe revive your whole business model, this could be a defining moment for you and your business. And you may look back on and say, wow, I really remember when we had that crisis. I was a sole trader. This is how I pivoted and look what showed up. Because I guarantee if you're open to that, things will arrive that you'd never thought that you have expected. Now's not the time to be insular and sit back and wait for the phone to ring. It is now not the time to send blanket emails. It is now the time to be out of your comfort zone and connect using the high tech with the high touch. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to look at all of the industries and opportunities that are still thriving in today's situation. Yeah, I want you to write out a list of all of those industries. I'd like you to write a list of all of the skill sets that you have, both hard, which is all your technical, and also soft, which could be your communication, your leadership, your ability to collaborate, to connect, bring people together. You might have more you know, data management skills. You might have some more technical skills in the area of software. You can bring all of those to the forefront. All right, then you'd like you to write down a list of the top 25 and we talk, talk about it at ProTrade in our marketing aspects of your top 25 connections, businesses, and possibly industries that if you connected with you over the next 30 days could, could significantly shift the way your business is looking. Write it out, make it visual, put it up on your whiteboard, in front of your folder, on your desk. And then what I'd like you to do is look at all the possible connections that you have in your life whether you've talked to them last week, last month, last year, or last decade, it doesn't matter. Now is the time to jump on the phone and call. Not to send an email, now is the time to call and express the opportunity that you have to share your skills, your ability, the value, and the quality that you can offer some of those marketplaces. So I'm just gonna give you an example. So if you're a sole trader, for example, one of our clients, sole traders, was a painter. Now, a lot of the residential work that he had, smaller jobs was drying up, but he also had a connection in through the painting industry for some larger organizations that were working with the businesses such as property management, strata management, body corporates that still had budgets to spend, particularly on external. He called around, he found one painter, that was looking for some of the his team and all of a sudden he contracted himself out in that situation. He tapped into the flow of what was happening. Now's not the time to go and create your own flow. There are rivers out there that are going at 100 miles an hour. You can tap into that and be in flow with them. Look for where you can add value to those situations. We've got electricians who are, who are looking at work that was dying up. The phone stopped ringing. They thought, what skill sets do we have? They jumped on the phone, shifted their marketing to more commercial operations that had shut down, but still had to do things like test and tag, internal protocol, rewiring switchboards, and they took that skill set along. So remember, you do have lower overhead, doesn't mean you need to be cheap. Stop doing lots of things for free, but give extra value and be nimble. Come from a place of caring and stepping up to be able to support people as much as you possibly can. So they're just a couple of examples that if you are open-minded, not fixed, you will have opportunities that show come your way. If the phone is not ringing, I'm recommending you spend a few hours every day just on the phone calling and connecting. Three words, oops, there's four, three words. And this is how a structure could go. Hi there, Bob, how are you doing? My name is such and such. I'm just looking to connect with other people in the industry. I've got an amazing skill set that I'd love to be able to offer if there's some opportunities going to support you, your business, your organization, your industry, whatever that is. Yeah? I'm really flexible at the moment, love to support where possible, and just wanted to see if that would be something of value to you. That's just a simple example. Yeah, you can use that verbatim, but if you made 10, 20 phone calls a day, 
I guarantee in a week, two weeks time, you would have so many things coming your way because you are one of the people who is proactive, looking at ways to support and embracing the skill sets that you have to tap into the flow of other people. So use the checklist that we've got provided. Use it as your time to shine. And I guarantee you'll look back through this period of time as a defining moment where you have really stood out and potentially could be a future leader of your industry in a number of different ways. I've got a footnote at the bottom of the checklist to know the difference between a request and an opportunity. Because if you're ringing up to get something, people will smell it. Yeah, that's what a request is. And that comes from scarcity and a lack. But I want you to shift that. I want you to see what's the opportunity here for you and for the other person. Remember, it has to be a win-win. You're here to make them shine, to help them be in more of their flow, and then allow you to be in their flow and benefit from that as well. Plenty of people out there have the work, they don't have the time. Yeah, they're too busy and they have the money to spend. So tap into that, add the value, and you'd be amazed at what can show up. All the best, and please reach out if we can be of any support.